Hi guys, Tampa Tech, and I'll show you how to easily and quickly check capacitors that are in circuit, um, power supply, any power supply, but this so happens to be a Samsung power supply. A capacitor, you know, repair is pretty popular for plasma, LCD, or DLP TVs. This has uh, no power, this DLP TV has no power. So I took out the power supply, I'm gonna check some capacitors, and I figured, uh, yeah, I might as well make a video. Find the biggest capacitor, which are these right here. These are the biggest capacitors that are in the power supply. You get your capacitor kit anywhere online. I go to shopjimmy.com. You get them at Amazon too as well. Just type in capacitor kit and their, your TV, TV model and it should come up. All right, so to discharge your capacitors, just go like that. Make sure you're holding something that has rubber on it like this and then just touch the two legs together. Out of, make sure you take the power supply completely out of the TV when you do this. If you have it plugged in, you're gonna freaking fry yourself. Anyway, so that's how you do it. Just touch the two legs together, you're good to go. So now that the circuit is discharged, then you wanna quickly do this. So locate your capacitors that you wanna check. Right here, these are pretty common to um, repair. These are, uh, 1000 microfarads, 10 volt. So this can handle up to 10 volts, DC volts or whatever, going through the capacitor. Any higher than 10 volts going through the capacitor, it starts to swell and bulge. It'd be like cone head on top. Uh, 1000 microfarads, UF is actually microfarads, if you didn't know that. And it should read, uh, give or take 10% of 1000 microfarads using a capacitor meter. And then these are right here, 25 volt. You can handle up to 25 volts and 2200 microfarads. That's the value of the capacitor. All right, and then also the stripe side right here is the negative of the capacitor. So let's flip it over and you'll see a bunch of circles. So all these circles, that's where the capacitors are located. And the black side is the negative of the capacitor and the top, this top side right here is the positive. It has a little plus, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little plus right here. So let's go ahead and uh, take your solder plunger or desoldering wick or desoldering wire. I use a desolder plunger. It works as a vacuum, sucks out the solder. So let's go ahead and do that. And I, I use adjustable soldering gun. You could turn it to 40 uh, watts or to 30 watts, depending on what situation you're doing. So I leave it at I leave it at 30 watts. So. Uh, let's take out the negative legs. So just like that. Heat up the pin. So you just heat up the pin like that. And on the other side, take the solder plunger, push down, boom, done. And let's do this one. And boom, you're done. All right, and then on the other side, you just wanna wiggle the capacitor free. Just like that. There you can see that. And you just want to wiggle it free so it breaks free of the board. So now it's out of circuit. You want to do that to all of them actually. All right. Sometimes you have to use your thumbnail. All right. Make sure the pin's straight and not touching the board. And do that to all of them. And now you go ahead and test the capacitors using a capacitor meter like this one. Turn it on, put it in capacitor mode. So you wanna move that switch all the way to the right, hit the capacitor button, and now it's in capacitor mode. Just like that. If you can see that or not. So let's go ahead and test them. So you got the positive, the red lead is the positive, and touch the tip of the leg. Make sure you don't touch the board. And hold it there for about three seconds. And it reads 2189, so that's good. It gets it within 10% of 2200 microfarads. This one, again, should read about the same, 2200 microfarads. Touch the tip, the black lead should be touching the tip of the leg. 2170. That is good. Thanks for watching. Post a comment. If you have any questions, subscribe to Tampa Tech if you want more easy tech reviews like this. And uh, check out my other uh, YouTube videos, how to fix TVs and uh, mount 
TVs and hook up surround sound and all that cool stuff. Thanks for watching and subscribe to Tampa Tech and like this video please. Later. Uh, I want to end with uh, I got over 10,000 subscribers and I got over 10 million total views and I want to say thank you and if you guys have any questions or you need any free tech support just don't hesitate to ask. Sometimes you have to ask once or twice in case I overlook your question. Later guys.